If you want to get into podcasting, forget Zoom. That is not the way to go. You definitely want to try Zencaster. If you know me, you know I'm obsessed with quality. And so it's incredibly important to me. And, you know, not all of my guests are tech savvy. They don't all have the best internet connection. Zencaster is able to solve all of those problems with their really innovative platform. If you go to Zencaster.com and use promo code Holly, you will get the first three months for 30% off. That's zencaster.com and use promo code Holly to take advantage of this incredible offer today. Not everybody can be a director, but I think that if you can, having the experience of having been a performer is really valuable. And it's kind of one of those things that even if, like right now, you know, I have like an agreement with digital that I do like a feature a month and then about a handful of scenes for babes and other companies one feature a month yeah i'm doing a feature a month um see you next year girl that's a lot um yeah no because also two digital features are usually four four to five days if it's the same when i was working they're doing series now like i get a lot of the series which is like a like a trilogy thing as opposed to like a like a four to five episode thing but the next one i'm doing is actually six episodes that i'm uh, it starts on monday and you have to shoot all six in a month so I'm shooting from I'm shooting two episodes in two days, and then um, the the lead had some scheduling conflicts around the holidays, so we're picking it back up in the new year, and I'm doing four episodes in four days. Oh, and you know, there's like always the limited budget aspect of it. So really, there's like a whole ass dialogue day that they needed that I'm tacking on into one of the GG days. And I'm just like, just, just kill me. Just, just take me out back and shoot me. (laughs) The thing is, is that it's not just the days you're on set. It's all the prep and scheduling and getting everything in a way that it makes sense that everybody's not sitting around on set all day and that you bring in people back the least amount of times and shooting and, and you don't go from location you stay in one location shoot everything like that's the hardest thing the the blessing is that this series is all taking place in one house so that's great and i had like another scene that i had to reschedule because i told you the yeah. uh, the whole thing yeah um i had to reschedule that so i'm just like there at the house for three days straight i don't right. have to pack my gear in and out i don't have to yeah. do anything like that's that. a that's a big thing oh my god too. you know it's so funny like these these very unsexy things that go into these 20 minutes that, that you guys take to, to beat off, you know, 20 minutes might be a little bit of a uh, generous, yeah. <laughs> but we give you 20 minutes worth. Um, but like, no, it's so crazy. Like the amount of planning that like for that scene to mm-hmm. happen, you know, it took three days of work yeah. minimum, like yeah. per day that like you're working on it and, and making it happen. And, like, can we just talk about how criminally undercompensated the back end of porn is? Like, yeah. when you compare it, like, I would say that you guys are doing three times the labor of a mainstream yeah. employee. Not sure. that there's anything wrong with mainstream, but it's simply the fact that you have to know everything. Like, in mainstream, there is... There's literally like, you know, oh, these are electrics C stands. Like mm-hmm. these are their stands. You can't touch them. Mm-hmm. You grip over here. Like mm-hmm. this is not your department. Like yeah. you can't even touch this this stick that yes. I'm holding. Like this is not yours. Yes. Um in porn, everybody does everything. It's yes. collaborative. Like it's 100 percent um you are lighting, you are stills, you are audio, you are production management, you are craft services, you, you are, are PA. Everything. And you're you're doing that for 30% of what one person who just has one departmental job is doing. And like we were talking about this yesterday of it's such a I think it's such a like if there's one thing I think in porn that is applicable to the wider world of like gig economy work. It's that if you are consistently undervaluing your work Mm -hmm you're you're setting that standard and yeah. there's always somebody that's willing to do your job for less yep but people like i don't know the the quality aspect of this like i care about yeah what i make i want it to look as cinematic as possible as right. beautiful as possible i want it to be as sexy as possible and i spend a lot of time and effort doing that and then i look at the end of the day at like how much money 
the crew and production are actually walking with. And I'm just like, why are we doing this to ourselves? Why? Like the skill set that we have, like we really all must be just, we just must love this job at the end of the day. Like that has to be it. Like there's, there's nothing quite like this informal creative environment that we have. But the the struggles that the that the crew undergoes and the constant law changes mm-hmm. and the legal dimension to this, like you guys have no clue how much battle goes into just being able to supply a steady diet of like ethically made porn. Yeah. To oh my god, the wider world. It's it's so difficult, and it's like I. I like, I would love to go into detail about it, but I also no. don't want to call myself out on no. some stuff because it's just like, but sometimes I do feel like I get punished because I want to do everything by the books and I want to do everything properly and I want to Which costs more. run a business the way you're supposed to run a business. And it 100% costs so much more money when there are other people who just kind of skate around certain things. And, and you know, I can understand how a lot of companies might go with, oh, this person's pitching us like $1,000 less. Like, why do we care if this person is perhaps exposing himself to certain risks on, you know, whatever level? Because oh, yeah. they're signing a contract. All of those, like, they're public signing, Miami shoots and shit like they're that. They're signing a work-for-hire contract where they are admitting – They are taking on full responsibility and all liability for Mm -hmm. anything that happens on set. So, like, we don't care. You know what I mean? It's no skin off our back. Yeah. So. Well, and, and like, good luck say, okay, so, like, you're a company that assumes all of this liability. Like, you're a production company that says, okay, sure, to whomever, I will sell you this scene that I'm making according to your specs. Um and I'm creating it this way. If anything happens, though, the the normal protections that a contractor would have, liability insurance, workman's comp, um, mm-hmm. the the typical DICE insurance is right. like trying to get them to work with adult because of the stigma that we have. Oh, and yeah. then like you throw in the the real legal dimensions to that, like the payment processing, like banks and and um, at a at a federal level banks and payment institutions have been disincentivized in in very real economic ways from working with adults because we're grouped in with the same group of people as like drug dealers and yeah. human traffickers and yeah. like all of these things and so putting a choke on our financing is considered a way of running porn out of civilized society but all it does is force us underground all it does is in a really real way make our sets more dangerous for crew and for talent. Because I don't think – if that's one thing, I I think like the last time that I was on your podcast, I really, really heavily stressed how important it is that talent be protected Mm -hmm. Um, from a work safety perspective, from a mental health perspective and all of that. But like crew have just as many of the same problems. They are just as open to – being taken advantage of, albeit in very different ways. Mm-hmm. Like the the types of advantage that's taken of is really from these more predatory company practices. Mm-hmm. Like, and do I necessarily think that these uh, corporations are sitting like these? Most of them are foreign entities that have never really stepped foot onto a porn set, and mm-hmm. I don't necessarily think that they're like sitting up in their offices going like, "Oh, how can we? How can we fuck over these? Yeah, yeah, yeah. These little men down here that are making our stuff." Um, I think it's really just that that like invisible hand of the market that right. just moves towards whoever can get it done the cheapest, the fastest, right. the whatever. And I mean, it's all about capitalism. Yeah. And if you can get the same product or a similar enough product for less money, why wouldn't you do that? How, you know, that's how you become a successful business in the first place, right? You don't just throw money at people because you like want them to be happy. Right. That's not like what makes a good business person, which, which is why I'm so shitty at it. Dude, same. <laughs> I'm constantly overpaying. Like I make honest, in all honesty, I make like barely any money on 
my features because I always wind up like overpaying my crew because yeah. I'm just like I'm putting you through so much yeah to get this product I done. always go over food budget because I'm like it's been a really long day like of course we're gonna get you guys pizza and coffee like I'm yeah. you know what I mean mm-hmm. like that's only fair if you want to get into podcasting forget zoom that is not the way to go you definitely want to try Zencaster. If you know me, you know I'm obsessed with quality, and so it's incredibly important to me. And, you know, not all of my guests are tech savvy. They don't all have the best internet connection. Zencaster is able to solve all of those problems with their really innovative platform. If you go to Zencaster.com and use promo code HOLLY, you will get the first three months for 30% off. That's Zencaster.com and use promo code HOLLY to take advantage of this incredible offer today. 